Hi everyone, as, um, as probably some of you already know, we were recently invited to um, Cuba uh, by one of our suppliers to have a look at this um, awesome destination. Um, in, the, in the coming weeks I'm going to do a couple of more blog posts and a couple of more videos um, about, the, about the island to tell you a little bit more about where to go, when to go, um, some of the highlights and some of the things not to be missed in, in, in Cuba. Um, it's blown me away, it's just the most awesome destination, it's really really fantastic. So where is Cuba? Cuba is a large island, in fact it's the 17th largest island in the world and just 17% smaller than, the, than England. The, the island is um, situated in the Caribbean Sea, about 150 kilometers south of the Florida Keys and to the, to the east across the Gulf of Mexico is obviously Mexico and down to the south is the uh, Cayman Islands and off to the east you have um, Haiti. So Cuba, Cuba is a, real, a year round destination. Um, you've got a um, fantastic climate. Um, in, the, um, in the summer months, you, you, you'll get to, like in Havana, you'll get to, 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 a, to a high of about 27 degrees centigrade, which is about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the winter, midwinter, like uh, in January, you'll get down to about 21 degrees centigrade, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, a really, really good, uh, good climate throughout the year. There is a hurricane season. The hurricane season starts on the 1st of June, runs through to the 30th of November. In reality, they seldom get um, severe storms. Saying that, this year obviously there was a Hurricane Irma, which struck the island as a Category 5, uh, did a lot of damage. But the Cuban people are resolute, they, they, they organized, um, they, they have uh, practice drills, um, and they're, they're, I think there were around about five fatalities on the whole island. Um, a lot of the tourist centers obviously were well protected. Um, so. The worst time for hurricanes in, re in reality is sort of mid-August to, to the um, so, sort of the end of, end of October, the beginning of November. But as I say, it's a rare occurrence and um, if they do hit, they, they I know lots of people that go, that go to that part of the world, often around um, in, in the hurricane season and they, never, and they never get affected. So why Cuba? Well, quite frankly, it's unique. There is no destination like Cuba. I, I was blown away. I didn't know. I didn't quite know what to expect when I when I um, went to Cuba, and I was pleasantly surprised. I think for me the first thing to say is if you like the Dubai and the commercialization and the and the shopping and the, and all that sort of thing, Cuba's not for you. Cuba is raw. It's it's like going back to the 1950s. Uh, the pictures you see of the classic cars are 100% because the whole the whole place is full filled with them in, in various states of repair. You've got some of the real old um, older, not well looked after vehicles, and you've got the shiny ones which are used to be honest more with the tourist. But from the architecture, the buildings, the the history, the the revolution, the um, the whole history with Sheikh Havare, the the the, the 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 culture, the food, the rhythm, the music, it's just infectious. It's the most incredible island to go and visit, and I don't think it's going to be like that for forever. Things are changing. Things will change as more tourists go in. There's new hotels being built. Things are changing, but today Havana is just. A great place to go the rest of the country is absolutely fantastic so you've got many many destinations to talk about you've got Trinidad down in the south of Chamfegos you've got Santa Clara which is popular with the revolution right down to Barracola and you've got um, a host of islands a host of um, wildlife fantastic bird life fantastic diving sites it's a great destination, guys. It's somewhere that you that you really should put on your on your list of places to go to. I'm definitely going back. I'm going to try and go back next year. There's much more that I want to see and, and explore on, on Cuba. Um, over the next coming uh, couple of weeks, we're going to do more blog posts. We're going to do more videos. Uh, we're going to tell you more about Cuba, why you should go there, when you should go, the highlights, where to go. I've eaten in one of the best restaurants I've ever eaten in Havana. Just absolutely amazing. There's lots to tell, lots to do. So um, please stay tuned and we'll, um, we'll see you soon.